This video is for coaches and athletes who are working on front handspring vaults, specifically focused on understanding the angle of repulsion. The angle of repulsion refers to which angle the gymnast's body is at when her fingertips begin to leave the vault table. Ideally, you would like for your athletes to be vertical upon repulsion. If your gymnast repulses in the yellow zone, they'll receive 0.05 tenths to 0.55 tenths in deduction. If they repulse in the red zone, they'll receive 0.55 tenths to 1 point in deduction. If they are in the green zone, they will not receive any deduction at all for the angle of their repulsion. In this case, Chaco has trouble getting off the table quick enough to repulse at the correct angle due to a pike in the first phase of her vault. To save herself a 2 to 3 tenth deduction on the angle of her repulsion, she can activate her glute muscles in the first phase of her vault, get her head in quicker as her hands touch the table, and repulse upwards. Although Skippy's two vaults are very similar, you can see how reaching further out onto the table saves her about 15 degrees on the angle of her repulsion. Where her first vault reached short onto the table, she repulsed at an angle of about 25 degrees. Where her second vault reached further out onto the table, she repulsed at about 10 degrees. Mackie Sam has great chest position when she hits the board, but has a similar issue with reaching down onto the table. Her head is out just a little bit too far. Instead of just peeking at her hands, she's pulling her hands back to reach the front part of the table. Spotting your gymnast for shape from in front of the vault table can help them understand the lift in the first phase of their vault. If you're small like me, you'll want to position the dominant side of your body in between the springboard and the vault table. Have your dominant hand ready to help lift the chest and your non-dominant hand to assist with the heel drive. Most of the issues in Char Star's vault actually stem from a lack of power in her run. But here you can see how having her chest down on the springboard and her head out in the first phase of her vault dramatically affects the angle of her repulsion. I've placed an object in front of her to give her a visual aid for going up and over onto the vault table. Notice how when I take the visual aid away, she dives into the vault table and then cannot repulse in the proper shape. In this drill, we work on head position, getting the head in as soon as the hands reach the table. If the head is not in, you'll not be able to repulse the hands off of the vault table, and that sometimes results in what looks like they are sticking or glued to the vault table. This gymnast has a similar issue with head positioning. When her hands reach the table, her head is entirely too far out. By the time that her head gets in and she's able to repulse, the angle is incorrect. A lot of this will also apply to the new XL Silver Vault. If you watch Noodle's vault in slow motion, you can see that her chest is down on the springboard. She is piked in her first phase. Her head is out in the support phase, and the angle of repulsion is wrong. This vault may have received an 8-4. Initially, Itty Bitty has great positioning in the first phase of her vault. But a pike in her support phase causes her to arch in her repulsion, making it very difficult for her to land. 